Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Solenoid A long closely wound helical coil is called a solenoid. Animation shows a section of stretched out solenoid. The magnetic field due to the solenoid is the vector sum of the magnetic fields due to the current through individual turns of the solenoid. The magnetic fields associated with each single turn are almost concentric circles and hence tend to cancel between the turns. The direction of the magnetic field due to circular closed loops, that is solenoid, is given by right hand palm rule. Magnetic induction due to a long solenoid carrying current. Let us consider an infinitely long solenoid having n turns per unit length carrying a current of I. For such an ideal solenoid whose length is very large compared to its radius, the magnetic field at points outside the solenoid is zero. A long solenoid appears like a long cylindrical metal sheet. The upper view of dots is like a uniform current sheet coming out of the plane of the paper. The lower row of crosses is like a uniform current sheet going into the plane of the paper. To find the magnetic induction B at a point inside the solenoid, let us consider a rectangular amperian loop A, B, C, D. The line integral of closed circuit vector B dot vector DL for the loop A, B, C, D is the sum of four integrals. Therefore, integral of closed surface vector B dot vector DL is equal to integral A to B vector B dot vector DL plus integral b to c vector b dot vector dl plus integral c to d vector b dot vector dl plus integral d to a vector b dot vector dl. If l is the length of the loop, the first integral on the right side is bn. The second and fourth signals are equal to zero because vector b is at right angles for every element vector dl along the path. The third integral is zero since the magnetic field at points outside the solenoid is zero. Therefore, the integral of closed surface vector b dot vector dl is equal to bl. This is equation one. Since the path of integration includes nl turns, the net current enclosed by the closed loop is i naught is equal to i n l. This is equation number 2. Ampere circuital law for a closed loop is integral of closed surface vector b dot vector dl is equal to mu naught into i naught. This is equation number 3. Substituting equations 1 and 2 in equation 3, bl is equal to mu naught i n l. Therefore, b is equal to mu naught into n i. This is equation number 4. The solenoid is commonly used to obtain uniform magnetic field. By inserting a soft iron core inside the solenoid, a large magnetic field is produced. B is equal to mu into n into i is equal to mu naught mu r n i. This is equation number 5. When a current carrying solenoid is freely suspended, it comes to rest like a suspended bar magnet pointing along north-south. The magnetic polarity of the current carrying solenoid is given by the end rule. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.